good morning. It is Friday, November 3rd, and we are about to leave to go to the airport to go to Disney for our one year anniversary. Yes. Which is weird that it's been a year. Oh, I thought it's been then. lovely. Well, you know what I mean. It's just that this year, first half went by so fast, and the second half is going by so slow, but it's weird to think that it's already been a year. We struggle bust through the summer because we were working pretty hard and like trying to make through things. And then- I feel like I've struggle bust through this entire year. Well, I thought it's been lovely. Anyway, it is currently 8.58 and we need to leave by nine to head to our like local airport. We have a layover in Charlotte. It's about an hour, which mm -hmm. I prefer layovers to be a little bit longer than that. Just because anxiety, I hate flying with every fiber of my being. I would rather drive somewhere, but I guess driving to Orlando would be a little much. But we have a layover in Charlotte before we head on to Orlando. And we're going to be there until we come back Tuesday, Tuesday, November 7th. So the day after our actual anniversary. We'll see how recording goes at the airport. I usually get pretty shy, but I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone. And he usually does a pretty good job of reminding me to record. But yeah, so I don't think we're going to do like too much once we get to Orlando. What time are we supposed to get there? Like afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon sometimes. So we might go to Disney Springs. And like tomorrow on Saturday, we don't even have a park pass because we're seeing some friends we won't even get to disney until sunday disney disney not disney you know what i mean but anyway we're gonna get ready to go since it's probably nine now since i started talking but the anxiety commence i hate flying so much currently having a morning snack chicken salad luke's got ham cheese ham cheese and a lot of mayonnaise and a lot of mayo <laughs> and some orange juice so we don't get sick also tsa was no problem oh yeah tsa was great today We've made it. We're currently waiting for Uber um, at the airport. We got our bags already. And now we're just waiting uh, curbside for rideshare. It's not terribly warm here right now. For you, it might be, but for me, it's not that bad. But yeah, we're currently just waiting here. Did you, oh, you got it? Cool. Luke's already got it taken care of, so now we just wait uh, to get an Uber and go to the hotel. Yay! So we have made it to the hotel, but we are walking to our room now. This property is massive. Yep. Um, it's got, it's a Sheraton, and it's just got all sorts of Free pools. buildings. Yeah, it's Free wild. Restaurants. So we have to walk a little bit to get to our room. We're on the first floor. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty here. We need the steps. That's true. We are here. We're going in. We're right here in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got like a little kitchen. Oh, it's a whole cool kitchen. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. We need some light. Fancy. Ooh. I, well, when she said that she was like two bedroom, I'm like. Well, I knew it was a two bedroom. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's the room they offered. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. We just came in from there. Full kitchen, which is pretty nice. So it's a two bedroom. So we have this room. So like if our friends who are coming wanted to stay, they could. Here's the bathroom, which the bathroom is pretty nice. Okay, so the reviews are a bunch of liars. I'm not seeing the whole outdated thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Well, here's the bathroom and- I oh, did say this building was new. That is true. 
So here's this little sliding door for the bedroom to the bath. That's pretty cool. Like you can't really roll out of the bed that way, but that shower is heckin' nice and a tub. Let's go. My hair is really wild right now because our Uber driver wanted to leave the windows down <laughs> the entire trip here. A little dining table. Hey, damn, okay. It's a closet if you want a vacuum on your vacation. A little sitting area, TV. And then this will be our room because we don't need no doubles. Nice. And it has a view. The little lake pond thing. That's pretty fun. You're gonna love the bathroom. Oh my god, this bathroom's better! Oh my god, oh god, it's a jacuzzi. Oh my god, there's two sinks. Oh, I don't need to knock Luke out of my way. Oh my god, look at this. Oh god. <laughs> Okay. Look at, oh my god, look at that shower. Oh my god. Oh, it's a nice little toilet by itself. Another sink. And then the jacuzzi tub. I also forgot to include, there's a little porch and it's screened in. A screened in porch with that view. All right, Luke and I just ordered, well, not just, it was a while ago. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Did Uber Eats just to get some food because we hadn't really eaten anything today. Real food all day. I was about to say, we had like a little, little sandwiches um, at our local airport, mm -hmm. but we didn't really eat food food. So we ordered some stuff. We ordered from a place that Luke used to live in Florida. Miller's Ale House, they're all through Florida. Yeah. And so he said that it was pretty much had everything. So I ended up getting, what was mine? Like chicken, chicken and, and mac and cheese. Yeah. And then you got the sauce on the side. Yeah. I got some like garlic Parmesan sauce on the side for like dipping the chicken in, mm -hmm. but it's mac and cheese as well. And then Luke got some really nice looking nachos over there they smell great big messy nachos so we're gonna eat some of that we might go to disney springs tonight but we both were just really tired when we got in correct don't mind the office in the background but i just wanted to try this out mac and cheese looks good just like mm. oh the garlic parmesan actually might have been good for the mac and cheese too because it it's on. it's a little garlicky you can pour it on yeah it's a little garlicky with the the mac and cheese so oh, having this with the chicken could probably be pretty good. Cause like you can have the chicken in a sauce, but then Luke found that you can select no sauce on it and then just have sauce on the side. So that's what I ended up doing. Cause I just like the dip things. Oh, that sauce is good. <laughs> good. That sauce is really good. But like the pasta has some kind of like garlickiness to it already. So I think it would have been okay actually. It's not like your standard mac and cheese where it's like the orangey cheese just ignore the tv in the background hopefully it won't be too loud because otherwise i'll cut this entire clip <laughs> it's pretty good 10 out of 10 of course you can't go wrong with mac and cheese and chicken really coming up on world of disney I'm gonna go look for a few things for kiddos in my life well as some munchling related things have the 100th anniversary those bags are cute i think this whole section must be 100 no, it's 100. I know, it's so cute. You like Chippendale. I do. We got Chippendale. We got Pluto. They're all like specialty. Yeah. 100th. I like the spirit jersey, but I don't like the glitter because I feel like that would come off. It's cute though. This is the section I was looking for were munchlings. Now I'm looking specifically for pins. I don't know if they have the pins here. They have like the little the little plushies like I did last time we were here. But I don't know if they have the pins. We got the big ones, which are very, very cute. Oh, that's a stitch! So we're on the hunt for stitch things because my nephew likes stitch apparently.
$50 for 12 different munchkins. It's cute though. Cute little Christmas lounge fly that's got some Christmassy things on it. Aw, the boys. Very cute. Some really fun pins. Luke loves up. So this one with the balloons is super cute. And they all move and stuff. Also, please look at this one. My happy place is with you, if it'll oh. focus. That's cute. I don't like this illustration style, but it's cute. I had one of these before, but I lost it. Did you? Yeah. No. You should get a new one. It's the great button. You should. That sucks that you lost it. That's a bummer. The Ellie badge. I was about to say, you should get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so my nephew is apparently a huge fan of Stitch, and look at this big Stitch. Look at this. He is $34.99, and I feel like I have to get him. So I think we'll get him one of these. I just gotta find one that I like, because I am that person. That has to find the perfect one that hasn't really been messed with. All right, I think this one's the winner. I like his ears. So I think we're gonna pop him in there. Okay, this is just too adorable. It's Eeyore in Christmas pajamas, and he's got like this crinkle fuzz to him. How adorable is he? Oh my God. He's, oh my God. Feel him. <laughs> what is in his butt? <laughs> he is heavy. He got some weight to him. Maybe so that he always sits up. Maybe, but he's cute. All right, should I buy the $70 massive stitch? <laughs> Honestly, if I had room in my suitcase, I'd probably get this for my nephew. This thing is huge. Oh, he's he's had a better day. Oh. But look, he is massive. Like, he's massive. Seventy dollars. If I had room, I'd get him. This Christmas spirit jersey is adorable. Even though it's got the glitter, and I'm not a fan of glitter, it's very cute. And it's got a whole bunch of characters on it. It's adorable. This lounge fly is super cute. It's got all the critters of Disney on it. I love that. So we have been back from Disney Springs and World of Disney and all that. I didn't record a whole lot because the battery died on my camera and I forgot to bring any spares with us, but we are back now. I'll show you all my purchasing purchases, Lord, I can't talk in a minute, but I really wanted ice cream and there was one place that sounded promising, but the line was way too long and I didn't want to wait. So Luke told me that he had gotten some ice cream when we ordered our dinner earlier. And apparently this is that ale house, like their own mm -hmm. ice cream. Mm -hmm. So this one's called Captain Jack's Buried Treasure and it's vanilla ice cream, caramel fudge, Oreo cookie, and Heath bar. That looks pretty good. Um, it does seem like it's hard as a brick right now though. I'm gonna give it a few seconds. <laughs> give it a little bit um, to, to thaw out. But in the meantime, I'll show you what I ended up getting while we were at Disney Springs. All right, so the first thing that ended up getting was this Stitch for my nephew, who apparently is a huge fan of Stitch. I did not get the massive one that was like $70, $80. There was just no way and didn't think that it would be best to buy a whole brand new luggage. So didn't get him the big Stitch, but did get him this one. I think this is plenty for him. I even sent a picture to my brother and I was like, look at this Stitch that's like 80 bucks. And he's like, yeah, that's too big. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> That's what I thought. This one I think is a very good size for a three and some month year old. Also, and we'll, we'll get more to these in a minute. So I wanted the Munchlin pins. Turns out those are a Disneyland exclusive. They are not here at Disney World, which is unfortunate. So instead we did what we did last time we were here. I opened, I believe, two of these, three of the, two of these last time I was here. When Luke and I came last November for the honeymoon, I found these and I thought it was a cute way to close out each vlog. So I did two of them, but then I wasn't able to do one for the last day because we never went back to a, like the World of Disney store or any store that sold Munchlins. And so I, I felt like it was very incomplete that I wasn't able to do one of these every single day. We're Gonna make sure that doesn't happen this time. And so I got, honestly, I just think this is a cutesy little way to end the vlog each day. They had two different kinds. 
to get. And I got five of these things because I wanted one for tonight. So I'm gonna open one of these tonight. And then one for tomorrow, one for Sunday, one for Monday. And then even though we go home on Tuesday, I thought it would be cute to close out all of the vlogs by opening one back home. There are two different kinds, five days worth. Luke said he thought these were cuter. So we got three of these, the festive fair munchlins and these are the different ones that you can get. I really want, who do I want? I really want Bullseye and Luke hopes I get Doug. There's Bullseye, there's Doug. Any of these honestly would make me happy. So got three of these and then got two of these, which these are the dynamic duos. There are six different ones you can get and you have like Remy and Emile from Ratatouille. You have Sadness and Joy from Inside Out. And then you have Sully and Mike from Monsters Inc. And these are little dessert things like Remy is a French hot chocolate, Emile is a strawberry croissant. So yes, we got two of these and three of these. And then real fast, we ended up going in Sephora because I swear I cannot make a trip to Disney Springs without a trip to Sephora. I only got two things though. And the first thing was Juliet has a gun, perfume, called Not A Perfume. I got this same exact thing last Disney trip and I just ran out like a month ago. I love this perfume. Cannot commit to a full size yet, but I honestly should. And so I just got the like travel size one. This stuff smells really, really good. I love it. It's got like a very woodsy smell to it. And then I got a new liquid blush from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Worth. I already have three of these blushes and I absolutely love them. They're good for when I'm not feeling a whole lot of makeup. So yeah, this one is definitely a more like everyday color for me. Got those two things from Sephora. Not a, not a very big Sephora haul. But yeah, so with those purchases, I thought I would go ahead and open one of these. Maybe I'll save it for after ice cream, but I'm gonna open one of these tonight. Luke made a good point. I'll open the three of these in a row and then I'll open the other two back to back. So like I'll do these Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the other two Monday, Tuesday, because then if I end up getting like a duplicate or something, I can go back and get another one just to try. If I get a duplicate, I'll just give it to my nephew. I'm excited that I thought ahead to buy multiples so I don't have to get to like the final day and not have one. <laughs> we're gonna eat ice cream or at least try it and then we're gonna open a munchling and then we're gonna end this vlog. <laughs> it sounds good for all the stuff that it said. Mm -hmm. So, very cold. <laughs> yes, that's how it usually comes. I like that. Good. Yeah, it has a good, like the right amount of um cookie. For birthdays at this place, they usually give a big piece of chocolate cake and ice cream. Oh, this, this, ice, cream, this yeah. ice cream? Yeah. I like this vanilla too. Like it's it's got like a yellowish mm -hmm. color and I know like vanilla bean will do that. You can't really see it doesn't want to focus on the ice cream. There we go. It's got like a yellowish tint to it and I know vanilla bean will be that way. Or no, not vanilla bean. Um, There's some vanilla that will- French vanilla? Maybe. I was about to say vanilla bean is like the stark white with the, the black speckles yeah. in it. So yeah, maybe French vanilla. I'm sure YouTube commenters will correct us. <laughs> um, actually, vanilla, blah, 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 blah. that's how some of them sound like. Just kidding, we love you all. Just kidding, she loves you all. We're gonna eat ice cream. We're gonna open a munchling. Mm-hmm. Which one? So we're gonna open this one first. Which one do you want? Or do you I said one? I want Doug. That's right, Luke wants Doug, and I want I mean, I'm happy with any of them. The alien one's kind of weird. So these are festive fare. So we could get Doug, who is a beef and gravy pie. Pumbaa, who is a salted pretzel bun. Miss Bianca, a baked camembert. I probably really butchered that pronunciation. What is a camembert? Oh, I don't know. It's French. You're taking French on Duolingo. It's a, I think it's a dessert, but I'm not positive. Because I'm taking French does not mean I know every dessert and food item. I mean, you should. Bullseye is a cereal bite. Robin Hood is a mulled apple cider, which is pretty cute. Robin Hood's actually a really good one too. You get a Robin Hood one. I was about to say, that's also. pretty cute. And then Alien is a bacon Brussels sprout. Such a random one too, the Alien from Toy Story. The bacon Brussels sprout. We're gonna go ahead and open it. 
and then we're gonna close out the vlog. Be like that guy on TikTok who just like rips into it. I love his videos. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's got the best laugh. It always sounds like he's He gonna... is beyond joyful when he does it too. <laughs> his laugh is great. Like, I'm tired after watching a short of this guy because he's so joyful and he's so extravagant excited. while he oh does this. Yeah. But anytime he opens up, he just like rips into it. And I'm sitting here going like, I wanna nicely open it so it's a surprise. I'm gonna open it and point it toward the camera okay. so that the camera sees it first. It's all like taped up. To make sure kids don't sneak into them at the store. It's, oh, it's the one I can't pronounce. It's Miss Bianca, the baked camembert. I'll look it up. Camembert. And so it comes with, it comes with herb sauce. That's so cute. Look at it. I don't think it's a dessert. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean to say dessert. My bad. The last one that I did last year when we came to Disney, those were all desserts. And so like my brain just keeps saying it. It's pretty much cheese and veggies. Like, so think of like a casserole. Mm -hmm. It looks like brie. Yeah. Bre it's good. like, it's like bread, cheese, but like cheese bake. That's cute. Yeah. So it comes with this and then it comes with like a little herbs sauce that almost just went in the ice cream. That's adorable. So this was our first one. How cute. Yeah, and the little like pieces on her head. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But yes, it's festive. It's supposed to be like stuff that you get around like Thanksgiving and Christmas, so. Last time we're at Disney, Luke got this pin. It's the, the Ellie pin from Up. Well, apparently it got lost. Yeah, I got lost in my travels, like popped off the bag, so. So he got another one, cause he loves Up. Up is like his Disney movie. So here's our first one, which is exciting. She's super cute. Where's Miss Bianca from? Is that Rescuers? I'm pretty sure it's Rescuers. Yeah, that's what I thought. The 80s, like. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Bianca the mouse. That's what I thought. That's what I rescuers thought. I just rescuers wanted, down under. That's why it's been a long time since I've seen that movie, but. That's what I thought. But anyway, that's where she's from, is from Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. Isn't it Murder, She Wrote that did the voice? Is it? I thought so. I know I she did wrong. Mrs. Pot. Oh uh, yeah, Beauty maybe it's not Murder, She Wrote then. That's how we're gonna close out this vlog. We're gonna go finish eating some ice cream and then get ready for bed. That is it for this vlog. Okay, not me running out of uh, memory card space <laughs> while I was trying to end the vlog. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, hopefully you'll stick around for the other Disney vlogs to come. But if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload next and when the next Disney vlog comes. But until next time, bye lovelies.